You start tonight with breakthrough COVID-19 cases. We've heard about these, right? They're popping up in Utah, really all over the country. These are instances where a fully vaccinated person is diagnosed with COVID. There's a lot of talk about these. We want to know, though, how common are they really? So ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs speaking with Intermountain Healthcare. Jordan, what do they have to say? Nick, Dr. Taki May with Intermountain Healthcare actually put it very well. She says we're hearing about these COVID-19 breakthrough cases because they are unusual. The CDC came out with a report that says less than 0.004% of people fully vaccinated against COVID-19 end up with these breakthrough COVID-19 cases resulting in a hospitalization. We are ready because we've already dealt with this. This is where the state was this time last year trending in the wrong direction. The difference is that, um, unfortunately, the, the stress of, of the pandemic really did health, hit healthcare providers in a significant way. Many nurses are backing out of the profession, either quitting or pursuing other passions. New problems keep arising, and this time it's breakthrough COVID-19 cases. I think we are going to see the, the breakthrough rate increase, and that's just because Viruses mutate. It's part of what they are, and that's why we need a different flu shot every year. Dr. Taki May at Intermountain Healthcare says she knows someone was treated with a breakthrough case at Intermountain Logan Regional Hospital. She says it's no time to sound the alarm, though. So I think people need to, to change their mindset and recognize that these we hear about the scary stuff because it's scary. We don't hear about the mundane stuff, which is millions of people successfully vaccinated avoiding COVID. Out of the millions of people fully vaccinated against COVID-19, the CDC says less than 0.001% have died from the virus. The CDC adds most of the breakthrough cases. About 74% occurred among adults 65 and older. However, now, as May says, she has seen more young people wind up in her care with COVID that are unvaccinated. We really need the entire population to, to participate in the vaccination effort because that's how we stop the virus in its tracks. As May just mentioned, she says the big push is still for herd immunity. She also does recognize that some counties are faring better than others in its fight against COVID-19. Her best advice still is if you're in a public indoor setting to mask up. Reporting live in Murray, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.